Hola! We arise, and today I'm going to be talking about Animal Crossing. In particular, we're going to be talking about the run, the bus in Amore E+. And today we're going to be talking about what is chore skip and explaining how it actually works. Now the first thing to note is that I'm of course I'm going to restore a file. And uh, so that way I don't have to worry about, um, you know, um, changing it in the middle of the run. So I'm explaining what chore skip is. I'm going to just provide gameplay here for you. So you don't have to worry about a thing. So first of all, I'm explaining what chore skip actually is what it is first. So I'm gonna actually be restoring the save, of course, you know, because um, it'd be harder to do this on multiple room because I'll have multiple room cards. So I'm gonna go to the homebrew launcher first and I'll explain what this exactly is. I put a save on Sura.com. However, I'm gonna be showing you what this exactly is. I have GameCube multi memory card manager. So GameCube Memory Manager. So this is an app you can download for your home brewed Wii's. And I'm um, gonna go to A to press SD card. So Eve controller, but I'm gonna put it anyway. So I'm gonna A. Oops. What the heck? Bye. I'll press A. Hold up. Okay. All right. Wait, where's my thing? Yeah, it's in there. I'm gonna say. So I'm going to show you restore function. So I'm going to show you restore function. Pop. Yep, for sex, good. And now, if you look up, these are the two files that I've given you. Of course, they are the same exact uh, block thing, UCI file. They're the same one. So I'm going to click this one. Doesn't matter which one. I'm going to click, over, I'm going to click overwrite. Press B, Z. All right, we're gonna overwrite this file. This is my memory card backup, and yeah, uh, so this is gonna be my Dwesta Warrior server start complete. So now I don't have to worry about the fucking save not worried about. So press B, I'll go home. And now I'm gonna go home in the menu. Go home, exit system menu. So now all you have to do is use GameCube Memory Card Manager and SD card, and you can restore save using your thing. Now, what does this skip exactly do? I'm explaining that right now. So this skip actually skips going around. I'm going to be explaining it by providing the, the game of choice. Doesn't fucking matter. We're just going to load that right now. And uh, this is the bus over that way. This is not E+. This is the Bustin' of Animal Forest Plus. Um, it is a, what Animal Crossing GameCube is built off of. It is built off this game. Now, so I'm actually have, it's a pre-made village. I have Jeezy's the file name. Now, the reason why this is important, I'm gonna be explaining. Uh, it doesn't matter what your character name is. I just happen to have, this is the actual original the original village used to be over here. The village used to be here. Uh, it was good. Damn, it's good music. Damn, holy shit. But anyway, this is um pretty much the file with what it has. What you're what you're brought with is you're only brought with none. You're not brought with anything. And the file may not have bugs or fish. However, you may have items in your inventory. You may have items in your catalog. Which is this rod. Axe. This net. And this table. Any of this stuff does not matter. This all doesn't matter here. All you're worried about is the rod, the axe, and this thing over here. This is the desk. I'm going to show you what all these items are. I'm going to be picking these up. Alright, just to show you exactly what these things are. I'm going to put them in the house to verify they are these items that you are using for the run. Now, Floor Stride has the um, other tape, uh, uh, the uh, cabinet, which is a lot more money. 
But my file includes this, which is 1600 bells, which is 400 bells less. And um, you can use this for um, show you. It's the table glitch. So I'm going to do the table glitch to show you what this is used for. Just for the sole purpose, I'm going to be using custom shirts. Let me do the glitch. Alright. Okay, so as you can see, I'm up on the ceiling and I'm like stuck in the corner. And you put the tape deck, you do all that, blah, 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 whatever, we don't care. Anyway, that is not what this video is used for. The video is actually explaining what you're getting with this file here. The matter we already have a tape deck anyways. So we are going to be getting four tools, a table. I'm just going to put the, 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 the net and the rod over here. Just you know, just for um, just to show you what we're getting. Oops, oops. Rod, you go on the table. Thank you. And you will get a, a lovely, lovely axe that will be uh, right next to over here. Of course, they won't be in the house when you start because you can't put, you know, tools in the house. So the main items you can be picking up when you're doing chores, if you want to create a new name. Using this file, I have uploaded to speedrun.com. You'll pick these four up, and I'm actually going to put them somewhere where you can find them. Now, where you can find them is actually going to be right over here, where you would go for your town map for chores. Now, they're going to be right here, right where you can find them. See? They'll be right here, right where you can find them. So, if you're having trouble finding these, they're right here. Anyway, now how to so how does this save time? Um, normally in seed runs, you do a thing called a chores. Um, this is a notorious and tedious cast, especially for speedrunners. Of course, you don't have to have this shirt, you can have any shirt you want. If you want fire shirt, you can get fire shirt. I chose to have the checkered pattern, you know, because I'm, I'm racing. Anyway, um, what this skips is having to go around, talk to villagers, do a bunch of crap that you don't need to fucking do, and uh, that's why E plus is good. So, we're gonna save and quit. So, after you've done chores and, of course, gotten the desired table you need, usually the one typically used is the one for 2000 bells, which is due table code, but of course, I've uploaded my save. So here's what you would do if you need to upload that save. So if you wanted to get a character, get the desired clothing and all that shit, here's what you do. You save and quit. Now, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing the do, do chores as normal. So of course, to get the desired result, of course, in this game, you cannot reset while saving because it does not have the fail save. So you have to go through the main menu normally. So now I'm actually going to create a new villager. Just to show you how to do it. So you click this and you click new villager. Of course, I'm not going to save this new villager, but it's going to show you that you're going to be able to create one. So now this is the process that so you would do to normally make normally make a new villager, and um, it's different than E plus that you can skip. And I would create just to the sake of the okay. So you can put up to six characters. You can put up to six characters in the thing, as well. So I would put six characters. Just do, okay. So. And of course, the town name could be six characters, but that doesn't have to be preset. I just would need to know the name by like when I'm doing this around in the marathon. Like if you ever want to do E plus in the marathon, I need to know the first six characters of things. So I'm gonna just continue whatever, and I can choose it to be a boy or a girl. But the problem is with this. So the problem is, um, 
I cannot pick the... I cannot pick the gender early. You have to tell me the gender of the villager early on. Because I won't be able to decide which one early on in the run. I can only decide I can only decide by pre-making the file. So what I have to do is I have to make the names, but I have to make them pre-made. So I have to do chores six different times for this Xanarathon incentive to work. So meaning if you want to do this Xanarathon incentive, you'll need to have either six memory cards with perfect tables and whatever, or transferring a table via Nook code, or all that shit. So that's pretty much it for that. And just to show you that in the save file you'll get, they'll of course be over there. And of course I get freaking fire shirt as usual. Oh my god, this is stupid. I, I got the freaking fire shirt, man. And of course, as you can see, the net and all that's over there. Like I put in the video right there, so you remember what it is. So, you know what? That's fine. We don't need to worry about this. So now, what does this do? So after you've done chores, you have done all that. You have done chores, you've gotten your file. Now what the hell do I do? How do I, how does this help me? You're probably wondering. Well, you're going to be figuring out how this is going to help you. You've done your chores, you've got your desired table. Now we're moving on. Now we've gotten the desired table we wanted. Now, here comes the best part. You put in the E plus disc. Okay. And this is what you do runs your E plus. You have this file permanently on your SD card in the future. Here's how this works. I'm, of course, I'm going to get my town cap here that Jonas made because Jonas is a beast and he made town cap. I'm not sure if he actually made it or whatever, but I'm gonna get my town cap here. And uh, of course, I have a town capture program. I'm not stupid, I have town capture. So, here's how this is gonna work. Here's how it's gonna work for E. Plus. So, E plus categories, even in gold tools, you still gotta pay a majority of the decks. And the only thing you're really missing is paying the next one. So, in E plus, I'm gonna go to save data. I'm gonna go to Nintendo GameCube. And I'm gonna delete the E plus file. This is not, do not delete the E, but plus file because that's the one you need. It doesn't matter which plus file you have. You just, you just need the two, whatever these things are. Eat that Famicom thing. <laughs> are these deleted or not? Anyway, you'll have a box like this. You'll have 961 here. And now... Of course, I'm not going to set the time because that's arbitrary and it's not necessary. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how you would do it. So you go to 2013. You go to time. It doesn't matter which time you set it to, except it's got to be time between 9 and 5. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to set it at 10 o'clock. Okay. Actually, it doesn't matter what time we set it to. We can actually set it to 9 o'clock for speed. But that's fine. So anyway, we're going to set the time to 9. Fast. Um, and um, how does this file help us? Well, we're going to see. So I'm going to click this channel. I'm going to load the game. And we're just going to practice doing run. So all debts is just basically you pay all the debts as fast as you can. And of course you notice that the logo is blue this time. As it goes, E plus has a blue logo. So this is the Buster E plus, the sequel to Animal Forest Plus or our game, except it was only released in Japan. And the uh, music's way cooler. And it is actually more buggy than you like slightly more buggy than the original. I don't know how they did that, but well, they did. So, I want to be doing a run. You know, just to see what we're skipping. So, you obviously, you obviously saw, like, when, in the video, when we did the chores, when we went on the train, there was a few cutscenes. And every time the player starts, he has to explain, look, this is usually, oh, it's defaulted to explain 
the um, Jara dialogue, but since that is not the case, and there's no need to expo explain that, um, we're going to be diving into the more competitive category, which is all that's... Literally did that for three minutes, so if you count. Click cheesy. This one. I'm gonna click the town name, whatever you want. And yes, the town name can be six characters. Then, fuck, I don't know what this is. It's just that this doesn't matter, the hello doesn't matter, so. We're going to be continuing the file, and um, we're going to be, this is what chores skips. So I'm going to be explaining how to do this. So as you're probably aware, this is my plus villager, for, the UMM plus villager from the game. Of course, B, 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 B is our town name, but I don't care, it doesn't matter. So. So since there are no chores skip. So we're going to be picking this character. So we're going to be going up, but then we're going to die. Yeah, go down. All right. So we talk to Nook. We choose a house. Doesn't matter which one. Um, I'll probably make an incentive to pick the right or the left house. Doesn't matter which one. So going to be saying yes, yes, and now we mash B. This will skip him explaining the jar word and saving, which will lead right to this. So we skipped 20 minutes worth of cutscene, 20 seconds worth of cutscene, and now we're going to be getting the town a layout. So now this is going to be soon. It's to determine whether we have a good or bad town, and we actually got a bad town. But just to show this to the purpose of this video, of what chores skip is, you're going to go further in and then talk to this guy. Matt, we're going to capture it. Boom. Of course, this is actually a terrible town, but we don't care because we're just doing it for the purpose of the video, showing what your skip actually is doing. We're going to straight down. We're going to make it right. So basically, chore skip is we talk to the neighbors like usual. Of course, these villagers in town are random, just like in a speed run, but we don't have to worry about the RG of chores anymore. Which makes this run a lot more execution heavy than the original. And since there are no chores, this means there are no chores to be had. Meaning we can do this run without doing chores. And all we have to worry about is the RNG at the start. And that is it. Everything else is execution heavy. Which makes all deaths way more interesting for this. And uh, fast text and all that stuff. It's this is not really much village interaction aside from chores anyway. This is a very good run for a marathon. I don't know how they recommend somebody submit this run because it's far better than English, period. It is everything English wants and better. So of course along the way we will be picking up shells, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, we're gonna be talking to this dude. But just for the sake of the video of seeing what chore skip is, we're just going to do the main prerequisites of just skipping chores. We're not going to worry about buying any table. We are just showcasing what the file is providing. That is it. We're not going to do a run. We're just providing what this thing actually provides. But as you see, our inventory is empty and all that shit. You have to have no bugs or fish caught in the file. Otherwise, the file is invalid, which mine has no fish or stuff caught on it already. Which makes it perfect for speed running. And right, now we're going to be talking with finally, but not least, Nook. So, Nook will give you your map and send you upon your way. He's going to give us the town map and he's going to make us leave. However,. We actually can, we actually have control of the character when doing this, so we can actually leave right away. And there is sure it's completed. And now, now what we would do from here in the route is you just basically do the same thing as normal. Except you would sell whatever you have in your inventory and then once you sell it, if you have enough, 
you will be buying. You have a table. See, all your stuff's in the catalog. It's all right here. All the stuff you have in your catalog for DNM Plus will be here. So you'll have this table, which is a two by one table, and the cheapest table I could possibly find. And I actually happened to get it in Shores, which is pretty damn lucky for me, not gonna lie. It's a very good, useful table, and it works. And I literally got it from testing the glitch. This is my reward for testing if this glitch, this not glitch, I mean skip, but worked. Because we figured out by Zoe that you can do this. It took like years to figure this out of the game. I thought I thought you'll be buying 1600 and 14 and 1400. That is a total of that's the total of uh, 1600 plus 1300 is you know that's you know it's only 28,000 dollars for the price for the benefit of not having to input codes. So. After you, after you do this stuff, you um you go here. After you bought all the stuff, you go to the to the thing. You talk to them. You get the spring metal, okay. So in this so in this scenario, you just get the spring metal. Normally, as intended. Um, and you go to sports fair day as normal. It doesn't matter which sports fair you do, as long as it's any one but the spring and autumn medal. Does it matter? I just do the spring medal because it's spring. But for the course of the marathon, we will be using autumn or or or, or sports fair day or autumn day because the thing a big time big, big panda rushes during that time. But we're actually going to be doing this, and you will get a spring or autumn medal as a prize. For doing the, you know, this is what you'll get. You'll get a spring or auto metal, whichever is the thing that you'll be using. And this is the thing you'll be using the dupe with. The ball spring auto metals are both the same price no matter what you do. So after you get what do you do after you get your table and stuff, you would save and quit. And then you would reload the file and you'll have everything. You go in here, reload, set the time back one year. Doesn't matter. It could be any year. It could be literally any year. It doesn't matter which one. It could be any year of the game. So we're going to be looking at the, the, the college rule. On. That is sports fair day. As you see, today is sports fair day. And every spring on the March of Wednesday and on the ninth of every well, third month, fourth Monday is Sports Fair Day. But if we go to 2014, the day changes each year. So we're gonna go and show you what it would be on this day. Sports Day is on a Saturday in 2012. See? It changes. So it's actually the fourth the fourth day. So how does Sports Fair Day work? Well, we can check the Animal Crossing calendar and we can figure this out. But when I do it, I'm actually going to set the date to 2019. This actually tell you this is actually very useful for finding the sports fair day of whatever day you're trying to find. And remember, this is sports there, so we're gonna be showing you that this is actually the day. And it matches up with the thing here. See? Uh, 
A sports fair, look. It's the same day on the 9th, see? That is sports day. Now I'm going to show you that it's the same. We're actually going to be going through the 9th. And it is sports day. You see? See, it is sports day. Anyway, it is sports day. And so you can figure out which thing we're going to be doing. Now I'm going to explain what the run is. So basically you pick up a tape deck. Of course you'll have one to start out with. So you'll only need to buy two or one. Depending on what you're doing. Of course for my marathon run. I'm going to be using three. Now after you save and quit and change the date. You'll have your tape decks. Your two tape decks and your table in your mailbox. Of course, when you open the mailbox and you change the day, you'll be rewarded a free goodie bag, a free grab bag, which has three of any uh, three of items in it, three special items in it. You will then see a table. The, the three orders you ordered, that mystery box followed by the three orders you bought, which is the table, the two tape decks, and whatever arbitrary mail is whatever is here. Each time you travel back in time, when you're pay each time you pay a debt, aside from when you went back down the first time where you traveled to get the stuff, you'll usually receive between five and four letters. You receive five letters in the inventory. So these inventory slots actually can be useful depending on how you use them. Of course, for me, I don't like to put a lot of money on the ground, so sometimes putting them in the mailbox can actually prove useful. If you, in, in a route, in case you want to travel to place to place, so I don't. A lot of people say not to do that. But I feel it's pretty useful. And I mean, having ten extra slots to carry around stuff is pretty cool. This means no bulletin board. This means no doing this. This means no talking to villagers. This means no sending a post. You don't have to send anything to village anymore, guys. This is the better speed game. Get on the E+. Plus. Get on the E+, plus hype train. Don't listen to Brian. MP. And, and do chores. Don't don't listen to Brian say this is a dumb idea. It, fo it follows the same principle of not having a preset town. So it's completely fine. Don't get all the barn hype train. Go on the E plus hype train, the tour skip hype train, the right hype train to go on. So you now have your stream mill, your table. What do you do? You do the table glitches you normally do in all debts, and you just pay the debt. That's it. There's no, there's, there's all execution. The only RNG is this map, is the map you get to start. You only have to worry about two and four. All I have to worry about is Nook and Doom War. It doesn't matter where the villages are, or it doesn't matter. You have to see Tournament anyway, so it doesn't matter if anywhere on the bottom anymore because you don't have to worry about delivering to them anymore. Which creates less RG to run and it's more execution heavy. This is why I opt for E. E is the better speed game, even though it's not in English and there's an extra debt. It's way more interesting and it's just execution. There is. Is execution and menuing. That's everything an AC person wanted. This is by far the best all deaths category to run, period. There is no more RNG and chores. There is no more bullshit with bad villagers. And people may argue, yes, chores is part of the run. But what about if we get to skip all that shit, bro? Fuck chores. I was gonna, I'm actually thinking of asking Thorstrad if he can make me, um, a, um, you know, um, a thing, you know, for a file, you know. Like a pattern I can make for the Red Panda Rush, if I could just do RPR or something like that, but I could probably make that. Yeah, so, um, this skips having to do chores. 
How much time does it exactly save? It saves about nearly four minutes. And if you're entering a code for a table, it saves a lot more time. Because... It means less, less, uh, less code entry and more execution. This means the run feels more genuine, it is using a feature in the game, and is not exploiting codes. Although you could technically use the villager codes to get the table and all that, but that's a legit password though. Those are legit. Those aren't like fake things. Those are actually things you can get in the game. But that is that. So that is the that is table that is villagers that is um that is um that is short skip. So I showed you how this is done. This is done on another the prequel of this game and you could transfer a character using the prequel of this game and the reason why I have me multi making multiple saves is because it's going to be including a way to go you will see this run in a marathon I won't be practicing it much online you will see me attend the marathon with E plus all that's and this is something I'm going to be practicing a bit later. Oh, E plus. As I spin in circles. Yeah, I may have said in Brian's chat, yeah, um, well, you all say thank you chat, and, um, I may say yeah, I'm glad to deal with it, but I was really just joking around with him, because, like, really, bro, you're gonna be against this and saying it's contrary to what we think? It is a completely different game, and it doesn't affect the Animal Crossing leaderboard, so why do you care? You don't run E+. It's so all, we must use the mod at that point, it's like, nah. This is a more genuine way of doing it, and I mean, it's not like you can transfer whole inventory, as you saw. There was no inventory transfer. It's so we can get the golden net in his inventory when he discovered the glitch, or not glitch. I mean, the trick. So Zoe K already knew, had the inventory full, so that means you can't transfer an inventory full of money because that's not how the game works. You can't just transfer inventory full of money because that's not how the, the feature works. Yeah, so see you later guys. I'm just shooting, shooting the thing and that's it yet though. If you want the file it is on speedrun.com slash resources. I mean Zoe K is trying to grind for a table. And uh hopefully he gets that thirteen hundred table, but I doubt the rings to the boxing series is in DNO plus. I'll see y'all later. Bye.